we're going to show you how to load legal size paper into the tray 2 of the HP Color LaserJet Pro MFP M283 printer. We will sh also show you how to use the tray 1, which is a bypass tray. And for that exercise, we will attempt to print using the A5 media. So let's start off with loading the legal size paper into the tray 2. Open the input tray. Once the tray 2 is open, remove any A4 or letter size paper from the tray. Now, in order to load legal size paper, you need to press on this blue latch over here and extend the tray. And you can see that it is indicated 14 inch with the word 14 on the tray itself, indicating legal size paper. So press and extend the tray. With the tray extended, take some legal size paper and load into the tray. And we want to move the paper guides. Once the paper is loaded, use the paper guides and ensure it just touches the legal size paper. Then push back the tray. You will notice that when the tray is pushed back, there is a gap over here because now the media is longer than A4 or letter size. So this is normal. So this is how you load legal size paper into the tray 2 for your printer. So now that we have loaded the legal size paper into tray 2, we'll attempt to print. Let's start up Microsoft Word. So we will type something to send to print. So this is what we're going to print. Let's go to File Print. We have a shortcut over here for Print, Preview and Print. So we are not going to print on both sides since it's only one page. But we can select the printer properties. Now make sure that the paper sizes is set to legal. Paper source is 3.2 and it is simply a plain legal size paper. We're not going to print on both sides. And once that is ready, select OK. Once ready, let's select print. So this is printed on the legal size paper. So next, we will show you how to load the A5 size media using the tray 1. So simply put the paper and load it in as shown. The printer will detect and pull in the paper. So let's print a one page document using the A5 media on the tray 1. So now that we have loaded the A5 media into tray 1, let's open our Word document again. So this is a document that we have created to print on A5. But in Microsoft Word, you need to ensure that this document size is A5. You can do that by going to Layout and select Size. And make sure that the layout is A5 as we have selected. So this is A5 and this is the text that we are going to print. So once again, go to File Print. And under Printer Properties, Make sure that you select the paper source to be manual feed or even tray 1. 
Now this is important. So let's select tray 1. Once the setting is done, select OK. So once ready, select print. So the document has been printed and for A5 it is quite far in the output tray. So this is printed on A5 and is printed using the tray 1. So for the next exercise, we will show you how to load a stack of paper into the tray 2 itself and that will be loaded using A5 media. So let's remove the legal size paper. So to load A5 paper, you don't need to have the tray extended for legal size paper. So press on this latch over here and push back the tray as you can see. The tray is now back to the normal A4 or letter size. Take a stack of A5 paper and you can load it in as shown. Pull out the tray and push it all the way in and remember to use the paper guides. Push it all the way in and also use the paper with adjuster. So this is how you load the A5 paper into tray 2 for your printer. Once that is done, you can close the tray.